today we're strolling through Glen Residence Hall. And soon we'll be getting to my crib, the crib. Welcome to the crib. Mi casa, tu casa. Ready for a dorm tour? I got you. Hi, welcome to the crib. Hey guys, welcome to my dorm tour, which I have been planning for so, so, so incredibly long. Welcome to the lit lair. We have made so many upgrades, so many adjustments, and I'm so excited to show you all of them. Here we go. All right, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. We're gonna go ahead and start from here and go backwards, all right? So first of all, these are where all my shoes are placed. Shower shoes, tennis shoes, frat shoes, business professional shoes. These have honestly turned into guest shoes. Whenever people come over, this is what they wear. And these are my, of course, my Crocs. I really need to get these changed. I've worn these for so long to where the sole is just not soling anymore. So initially this closet was over here and I had so many pictures lined up on this wall, but I switched up the room. And then when I was transferring the pictures over here, I ended up leaving a lot over there. So there's still a lot of memories behind here. This is the closet. Now you'd be surprised how many clothes this actually fits. I'd say 50% are in here and then 50% are in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show it to you. This is my closet, fully opened. I will say, it took me a little bit of time to figure out what worked best for me and how I can most efficiently use my space. And this, I would say, is what works best for me. Since it's winter right now, I have all my jackets, sweatshirts, hoodies over here because it's more easily accessible. Initially, if you watch my, my move-in video, I put all my t-shirts up here and all my sweaters in the cabinet, which was good at that time because that's all I wore, but now, we switched it up a little. Here's all my professional wear and dresses, my West Point raincoat, professional, 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 my funky, funky clothes. So I had initially thought that I was gonna do AK Psy, that's why I got a bunch of professional. I feel like I haven't worn, I haven't even touched that many, except for like the career fair and probably Rush. But hopefully I get AK Psy this semester and they will come to use. If not, that would be really sad. Up here, I've had these cubbies for years and years and years. When I was moving in, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it. So all of these, this is like my, um, these are like all my tank top, workout clothes. Basically, I think they're all tank tops and it's filled to the rim. On the bottom, let me shift this down a bit, is my shorts. I don't really touch these anymore because it's getting, it's really cold outside. But if I were to, just in case, just in case you never know with Georgia weather, if it happens to be a sunny day, then great. Oh my goodness, I went home and I found the cutest skirt. So these are all of my like nice bottoms. So these are like jeans, pants, nice pants, business professional pants, skirts. Um, Those are all in there because I don't really wear them that much. So they're just kind of tucked away in the corner. And then I have a little bin right here for all my socks. And then lastly, this is my extraneous bin. It has like extra towels. I have not once used this towel. My extra sheets when I'm switching out my sheets. Um, what are these? Paper bag for the trash. That's what that is. This is my shower robe. I love the material of this. I really recommend using it. Most of the time, I don't even have to use a towel because this is towel material. And when I just put it on, it like dries me. And by the time I'm back to my dorm, I'm, I'm drier than a bunny. I've tried showering with this, but it just leaves me so wet and so cold that I don't really like it. And towel, I, I honestly feel like I use this more than my towel, but for my hair sometimes, yeah. That is my closet. If you want me to do a more deep dive into it, I definitely can't love the way it's organized. I think it's really efficient. At move-in, I had to move the move the shelves a little bit. This is my mirror. It goes out really far. Me and my roommate share this one because hers is a little bit gets stuck over there. Um, this mirror is so bad, it distorts you like nothing else. I'm not even kidding. If anything, I would recommend getting one of your own target mirrors, which I did not get. I was actually considering getting one, but Whatever. I'm now going to show you what is on top. I feel like there's a lot of storage space on top of closets. So let me climb up there. I'm currently standing up on my desk. 
I just restocked. I just came home from winter break, so a lot of things are like really clean, restocked. Oh my god, just wait till you see my stocked to the rim food stash. Just wait. Back to this upper storage. Some Tide Pod. Extra contact solution. I knitted this beanie and I found it in the corner here. So I was like, damn, no love for that. Extra paper towel. This box just has so many. Okay, I painted this. What is it doing here? Don't know. Oh my God, this were, these were all pictures that I printed out. Oh my God, look how cute this is. Oh. You know, it be like that sometimes. Um, these are all pictures that are printed out to put up on my walls, but I feel like this is a good, this is a good amount. All right, let me go over some things that are in here. Gloves. Never have once used those, but you know what? They're there. These, I would say, are like the biggest necessity in the world. I use these for all my pictures, for my lights, for literally everything that I put up, I've used with command strips. I literally used one today for, I'll show you later, but let's see. I just have a bunch of like Clorox, Kleenex, Kleenex. Phoenix. Um, this duster, which I used only at Week of Welcome. Never again have I used it. Oh my god, I will tell you that. So I have this wrinkle release spray. I use it a couple times and it works magic. Definitely recommend this because I don't have an iron, so I use that instead. And then I have this is Niha's Fabrique that we borrowed and definitely kept for quite a long time. While I'm up here, I might as well just show my picture wall. I think this is the cutest thing in the world. Moving on. All right, so moving on to my desk. While I'm up here, I might as well show it off. Um, This is my desk and my toes. Let me just hop off. This is what it looks like. I am filming this in 0.5, but all the measurements are posted on like GT's websites. This is my coat and this is my second coat that I just put up here because I have no space for it anywhere else. In my first drawer, I have basically all my technology needs, all my flash drives, digital camera, digital camera, portable charge phones, whatever, whatever. My glamorized pepper spray all in here. In my second drawer, this is like all wellness stuff. My contact, I have lint roller, lips, hair band, and then these are all my tattoos tattoos for game day and then in this last one this is just extraneous stuff here's the headband that i use for like game day this is just uh, honestly a bunch of stuff that i got from like week of welcome okay so moving on to my desk i will say not the most organized i try i really try my hardest it just you know sometimes it doesn't work out moisturizer sunglasses in here it's a little spinny thing it's pretty convenient and then i also have this it's just there and of course we have to have something from georgia fbla so here it is it's just a little ring lamp this has like a desk drawer i just fill it with like my career fair portfolio that has like my resume whenever companies give me things i'll put it in there usually i'll keep the notebooks so I have one Coke notebook. I have, I think, a Macy's technology notebook in there too. So I just keep those. Moving on. Do we want to do up or down? Let's do up. You're probably wondering how I get onto my bed. Well, it's just a little bit of parkour. That's all you do. It's pretty simple. And then when I get up, I usually don't go that way. I'll usually climb down from here and then jump off. I just think it's easier to like, slide down rather than jump up in the morning. Now let me show you the view from up here. I think it's really convenient to hang coats, sweaters, whatever. I have like three on this hook, beanies on here, a lot of blankets because it is winter time and it's getting so, so, so incredibly cold. Where the heck did these pants just spawn from? Okay, I need to put these in my drawer. So this is my bed, nothing too bad. It's a twin sized, I think it might be a twin XL. I'm not sure, probably a twin. It's probably a twin, but it fits plenty. Me and my roommate, will often have sleepovers in the same bed so nothing to worry about two people can definitely fit in the bed honestly i've heard stories of more oh my god let me tell you about the one artifact that gets me the most compliments in my room this fan it's such a simple artifact i just put a command hook and i clip the fan on top it works so nice i guess i'm just a hell of an engineer anyways it also has a light you just switch off switch that on now i'm hopping off Ow! Hopped off that bed. Holy, I'm gonna get knee pain by the end of this. This little bedside tray is so convenient. Actually, my friend gave this to me. Ashley, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Ashley. It's so convenient. Every night, I just put my glasses on there, my phone. I charge my phone because also I connected my phone charger to go like stick up in here. So then I just charge my phone at night. 100% recommend. My roommate also has like the, a different version of it. 
she has like the bag version so they're both pretty much the same now on this side i have all my hats so this is my favorite gt spirit hat my rat cap my gt cap and then my san francisco cap from there gt again necklace i got a three gt scarf this reminds me so much of hogwarts i really wanted to bring a lot of scarves because it gets so incredibly cold outside and all i do i'll just wrap my face and it's done then I'm warm. Another one of our hell of an engineer moments is this little paper towel rack. It's just kind of hanging in between this. And then we have our microwave and our fridge that I restocked. Oh my goodness. I got some sparkling cider, grape cider welches. The best thing ever. I have some mango juice, fruit, 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 fruit. I really don't use this microwave at all, but my roommate uses it a lot. This Brita, this Brita is never filled. At this point, this Brita is just here for show. The reason being, if we want to fetch water, we have to fetch water all the way at the other side of the dorm. And none of us, none of the lit layer residents are willing to go that far and trek all the way there to fetch us some water. So we, half the time, are just dehydrated all the time. And if we're really, really, really thirsty, we'll fill it up. You know what? After this video, I'm gonna go fill it up so that she, she comes home to a full Brita. Happy wife, happy life. You know what I'm saying? Another one of my tripods. I'm planning on using this as a view for my podcast. And then sometimes it's really cute when we're all sitting on the floor to like vlog fun, cute moments. Graduation decoration that I just reused. We decided to combine our cupboard and I will show you. Oh dear. This first one, the food has been restocked to the max. We have candy, candy, applesauce, candy. Oh my God. I promise you, I swear to God, was full of clothes until four hours ago. I came home from break and I went to BJ's in Florida and I took pictures of everything that I wanted so that one day my mom go here we are here we are now we're stocked we're stocked for years to come I actually I don't cook here but I think I want to start at least small making like quesadillas and stuff because a it's so much fun but b i've been spending so much money on taco bell bro it's not even it's mm -mm, it's not even funny that's like like i think during finals week i went every single day every single day of the damn week i went to taco bell spent my money on my chalupa quesadilla my cinnabon so i need to stop my new year's resolution for one month is no taco bell i'm banning myself from that establishment no I'm not allowed, but I'm allowed to make quesadilla at the leisure of my home. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat all of these. I got gummy bears. Oh my god, Nutella. Oh my god. Here is all my shirts. You gotta realize that I just came back from break like four hours ago so i spent the exactly last four hours organizing all my clothes so i took i had so many in here to a point where it was overflowing all three of these compartments were filled with clothes i realized that i didn't even use half of them i took them all out half of them were, were not even unfolded from the first time that i put them in there's still so much space before i'm telling you it was like to the rim i had to push it and then close it that's how filled it was now we have food barely any t-shirts and then all my pants are here so my pajamas my sweatpants and then all my pants that stick to my legs so basically the tighter leggings yoga pants all that good stuff here's a trash can so basically you take out your trash in big dumpster kind of near the dining hall so it's not too much of a hassle i have a funny story about how do i want to share the story let's just say i ended up in the dumpster let's just say that i ended up dumpster diving all right cliffhanger a yoga mat with my volleyball right in there we played a lot of volleyball the week of welcome not so much anymore we do still play a little bit but not that much so one of my new year's resolutions is actually to start in the morning instead of looking at my phone i'm gonna lay down my mat and stretch and then i can look at my phone if i really need to I don't. On this wall, I had been full of these Starburst whirlies. Got emptied within like a week. Might I add, not by me, by our friends. Remember when I was over there and I was like, yeah, I used a command strip today. This is what I used it for. Now I just moved it up there. Tissues, because we're always sick. Knock on wood though. So the story behind this is this is my favorite chocolate in the whole entire wide world. This has been my favorite chocolate so much that two years ago when I was fully a junior in high school on Christmas, these are seasonal, okay? They're mint seasonal Christmas chocolate. And two years ago, I was telling my mom, I was like, okay, for my dorm in two years, I'm gonna have a stash of these. And I forgot about them. I forgot about them until the next Christmas. And I was like, oh my God, I need these for my dorm. And I told my mom again, I think she stacked up on these during the Christmas time. And then during week of welcome, she like, pulled these out and i was like oh my god i forgot about these i forgot
forgot that I love them so much. I forgot that I wanted them. This was like the best week of welcome present ever. I'm trying to think. I think I got this for grad graduating. I think so. Just a little buzz. This light, I'll show you the works of it in a little bit. Of course, we have Bhagawan. Also on here, we ha she has like, oh, oh my God. So sometimes we'll write each other notes. She typed all of my notes that I wrote to her. Okay, let me read them. There's one that I said, system.out.print. Rock on, brother. For shampoo bamboo. Super duper, what am I even saying? I'm saying good luck on your, and then there's one that was like, Oh, and then one time I got her, I, one time I found a flower on the floor, so I picked it up and I gave it to her. And I was like, for my lovely, what, do I, what did I even say? For my lovely, beautiful, amazing roommate at Shambu Bamboo. That is so cute that she kept them. Okay, I literally have mine too. They're just hidden because sometimes people will come in and look at them and read them. And sometimes they're personal, so I do not want anyone reading that. These are such beautiful, beautiful, beautiful flowers. But behind this, one time we went shopping for dorm decorations and stuff. So this was from Five Below. I vividly remember this today. And we, we saw this coloring book and we were like, let's get this coloring book so that we can color when we're stressed. We have not even opened that book. There have been multiple times when we have been stressed, but we have not even cracked that book open. I think when we feel stressed, we actually just huddle up and sleep on here, which leads me to my next attraction. This is the best part of our room and probably the part that we spent majority of our time. There are days that we'll just like cuddle up here, shovel on this side, me on this side, and we'll just like talk and like, oh, I miss her. I really miss her. I've been roommate deprived for too long, far too long, and I need her to come back. ASAP, is there anything else I can speak on of this? I kind of always wanted to have a futon, but when we came into Glen, I looked at the measurements online and I did the calculations and everything, and everything fits so perfectly, except I didn't take into consideration the air conditioning unit, which threw off my calculations. So when we came in here, I was like, oh no, there's not enough space to have our futon. But then halfway through, I remember this was the last day before we went to fall break, we completely switched up to the room. Where I called her and I was like, hey girlfriend, I'm moving the cabinets i moved every piece of furniture in this room by myself this was our original futon that we kind of made by putting a body pillow and then made some seats and this is our rug and then i guess the final thing would be this little clip hanger thing that we got umbrella a little bag that i got from women in technology lulu bag a bunch of my <laughs> lanyards google cloud army gt what a time what a time i think we also do have to talk about one piece of decoration that lies above my bed or actually we don't have to talk about it let's just say let's not say anything actually how about that let's just leave it at that all right all right, we switched it to dark mode and I'm gonna show you what it looks like dark. But these lights make it so cute. And I also got this light. She gifted me this for my grad party. These lights that honestly just stay on the whole time. And then this is just an extra source of light. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put this, it's like movable and I'll just put it under one of these. Kind of serves as a nice overhead light. When I'm sitting down here and trying to do my work, it's so nice. Change the light. Wait. There's Roy G. Biv here somewhere. Oh, 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 dance party, dance party, dance party, what? Yeah, you got all of the above, all of the above. So many options to choose from. Let me turn the lights back on. So anyways, I think that covers basically the whole room. I guess I can provide, I'll provide some cinematic shots to show the whole room and all the angles. I'll get, I'll get all that, I'll do it. Don't you worry about that. If you want measurements, measurements are always on the GT website. Search up the measurements according to like what residence hall you're in because they're all a little bit different. I just want to say I love our room so, 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 so much. It really has become home. And I think we've done such an amazing job with it. It's so homey and so welcoming and so... It's just so i love it i love it we have done an amazing job it's so personalized you can tell that we live here okay I, we're not crawled up in our room all day i promise but when we are in our room it's really nice we're already one semester in and we've had so many memories in this dorm and i just can't wait to make more hope you enjoyed our dorm comment down below what your favorite part was if you want any more videos Smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications to stay tuned.